All right, time to set up the Gen 12. As a lot of you probably know, I typically don't like Gen cubes, but a month or two ago, I spent a week setting up four different 12s with four different setups for Luke Greiser. The goal was just to give him more options to see if there's anything he liked better than his main, and this is the result. It's fairly loose for a Gen cube, but the controllable lube setup makes it work very well. He has switched to this cube over to Moan's 12 and used it to get his official 551 average. So let's get started. This is a brand new cube and this one is going to Luke Van Lanningham and he agreed to let me make a video about the process. So the first step is to get the center caps off. On these newer Gen cubes, they are very tight, so to avoid any risk of breaking it, I like to take an edge out first, and then you have access to the middle slot. So just get a fingernail in there and pop it out. Inside you'll see the adjustment system, and we have a tool to adjust it in here, inside the AirPods case. So grab the middle tool, pull out the handle, and we're going to do top setting 3, which is the center travel or tension, and compression setting 5, which is 4 clicks. So it's kind of hard to tell, but the cube comes on 2. And we have to go all the way back around, so that's going to be turning this very gently five times clockwise. If you push too hard, it will push the whole system down and make this pop off, and then the cube will fall apart. So just make sure not to push too hard. One, two, three, four, five. And now this notch lines up with the three, so I'll repeat that on all of the sides. Went too far, so I have to go around again. Okay, the cube is on setting 3 now, and I believe it already comes on the correct elasticity setting, but I still like to reset it just in case it's uneven or if there's a unit on a different setting. So, loud click goes back down, and then count 4 more. Okay, I'm just going to redo blue and red because those did not quite feel right. Alright, settings are done. Uh, we're going to keep magnets on the middle setting because, first of all, it's strong enough. And second of all, Jacob Noakes found that having them on the strong setting gets them too close together and then the two layers will start impacting each other. And his theory is that that's part of why the 12 catches sometimes. I haven't confirmed that that's the reason, but I did notice that I seem to get fewer catches on the middle setting. So now for lube, this is very simple. This is basically just an angstrom setup with no DNM, and also adding a bit of extra gravitas here for some extra control. So I start with a corner, put some gravitas on two sides of the corner, like this and also directly above them, so both sides of the corner foot on two of the three sides. Now the corner can go back in the cube, and for the edge I'm going to put gravitas here and in the same place on the other side. This is sort of redundant with the corners, but um, just making sure it hits all the contact points by lubing both pieces. And then also on top of the torpedo on both sides. And also here, which is just basically on top of the magnet. And the other lube for the setup is Dignitas, and that just goes on three of the four main surfaces around. You could do all four, but I use my thumb under it to put it back in the cube, so I usually leave that one blank. So pretty decent amount because this is what makes the cube extremely smooth.
edge goes back in and then once you break in the cube and wipe it off you will have a very smooth and controllable GAN 12 even though it's on looser settings than most people would think would work. So I think that's about it. This is a pretty short tutorial but this adjustment system makes it very fast to set up. Hopefully this helped and thanks for watching.